Time to revisit my main computer and also do a little upgrade. Let's get started. Purpose of the video is twofold. I'm going to be doing a little upgrade and I'll be adding another two terabytes of storage. Uh, all the high def video that I took for the channel chews up a lot of space, so I definitely want to upgrade that. The other thing is, is I want to address a couple of questions that I'm still getting. Um, you know, almost after a year of having my uh, computer and after putting up the uh, original set of videos. Uh, first off, um, I paid about $1,500 for my computer, including the uh, keyboard that I use. And, um, you know, I, I get that question a ton, and I, I can't believe that I didn't, you know, mention that in the video. <laughs> uh, but, you know, so back in October of 2011, I paid $1,500 for everything that you see, plus my keyboard. Uh, so hopefully that uh, takes care of that. Um, I do get some questions about why did I pick particular components, uh, like why did I go with 16 gigs of memory, or why did I get that HX850 for their um, uh, power supply. In general, the same answer sort of applies. It's basically, at the time, there wasn't much of a price difference between that part and the, uh, I guess, the little... Uh, the, the the smaller part so you know 8 gigs versus 16 or a, a 650 watt versus an 850 watt power supply uh, there wasn't a ton of difference in pricing between those you know those two versions I guess and uh, for me the price difference paying a little extra money for a little bit better quality or a little bit more memory to me seemed like a wise investment um, so hopefully that that takes care of that the other thing I get a lot of also is do I do any kind of gaming um, I have played, uh, you know, Batman Arkham City uh, and uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, and those were two really good games, and um, they look fantastic. Um, I have played uh, Diablo 3, which looked great. Uh, I got that when that first came out. And uh, every once in a while, I still play uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, I haven't had a lot of time to do that lately, but I do still play. Um, and all of that looks really, really good. Um, I'm not a person outside of Diablo and maybe Arkham City. Uh, I don't really buy like the most current games that come out just because I don't really have a lot of time to play. Number one and number two, uh, there are still a lot of really good games that are older, and I just sort of buy them when they're on sale. Um, so uh, I like I so I guess in a nutshell, I do play some games, but not a ton. Uh, I'm very happy with the uh, 6870 that I have in here, and uh, it's been uh, uh, overall a really nice uh, PC. One more thing I should mention: uh, I do get uh, the question of what do I what do I use my computer for. Uh, so this is my daily use computer. I do all my you know normal day to day stuff, browse the internet, and uh, you know those sort of normal things. Uh, I also do a lot of video editing for the channel, which I think is pretty obvious. Um, also, uh, I have the uh, luckily I have the ability to work from home when I need to, uh, so I will use this for work uh, as needed. And uh, I also do some software development on the side. Um, I've got some little projects that I'm working on, just sort of uh, keep my software development skills up to par, so I, I try and do that. Uh, and then uh, some light gaming when I have time to do so. Okay, moving on to the upgrade. I'm going to be adding a Western Digital 2 terabyte black drive to my computer. I picked this up from Amazon. Uh, I normally get stuff from Newegg as you guys probably know uh, but this time around I actually got this from Amazon uh, I did some training through my job a few weeks ago and I got a nice um, uh, gift certificate from the training company for attending so I needed to burn some uh, burn through that money so um, I picked up one of these I thought it was a good uh, good purchase and uh, so let's get this in the uh, computer one of the reasons that I really like this case that I got is the uh, side panels come off really easily so you just unclick these latches here this folds out uh, and then you can pull the side panel off so you can have really easy access to the inside of this thing for upgrades here's the other side of the computer with the panel off and I wanted to show you where I'm going to install the hard drive uh, that's going to go right here originally wanted to stick it underneath um, the other hard drives but I have a uh, SATA plug 
just right here perfect so instead of yanking everything out and reorganizing I'll just add it here and I'll be done with it alright so the Corsair case has these really cool um, hard drive sleds that uh, come in and out very easily uh, you can uh, see these little metal pegs that fit into the screw holes here on the side and that will hold the hard drive in uh, and then I have a, a SATA cable so that I can plug it in incidentally uh, this is a SATA 2 cable and this is a SATA 3 drive uh, there's going to be no performance difference between a SATA 2 cable and a SATA 3 cable so this will be just fine okay hard drives in the caddy and then this just slides in like that all right here's the other side uh, what I discovered is the SATA plug here is uh, upside down uh, instead of twisting the cable uh, I checked down here and sure enough I do have an extra plug so I'll just move the drive down to over here okay so back on the other side uh, I've got the uh, SATA cable routed through uh, through the grommet and then plugged into the appropriate SATA 6 gig port all right I can't get the tripod close enough so I apologize if this is a little shaky um, so I've got the hard drive in, computer turned on, and I'm in Windows now, and I need to uh, initialize the hard drive. So I went to my computer, and right-clicked and went to Manage, and then went to Disk Management, and uh, I'm going to try and do this left-handed. Uh, I right-clicked on that hard drive, uh, where you see Disk 2 unallocated, and I'm going to click on a new system volume and then I'll just follow the wizard here so I'll hit next whoops I hit next too many times hard to do left-handed um, specifies the volume size so I'm just gonna pick the max size uh, I'm going to give it uh, I guess drive hmm what drive loader do I want uh, I think my main storage drive is actually drive I so I'm gonna probably call this drive uh, J so I'm gonna hit J and hit next I'll use a default uh, NTFS and do a quick format there's my summary I'll hit finish and it's now formatting and then when that's done I should be all set there it goes, we're all set. Okay, so the new drive uh, shows up. So I've got a nice empty hard drive uh, so that I can use. I'm going to be moving the uh, videos library. I'll actually move that over to uh, a director here on, on J. And then I'll just copy everything over that way. And then uh, moving forward, that'll be the new space for all my uh, video and video editing stuff. And then that should. Uh, uh, even things out a little bit. So, I think that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.